Hey, what's up guys? Nailbear here. Uh, we're gonna do this mission hunting partners again with the Master Dwarf. And uh, I guess we're just gonna teach me how to actually ride the Gorg now. So sit back guys and enjoy. Hope you're not put off by the wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Krabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? So you shall, but not just any Graug. This is a rare one. It's territorial, strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Graug before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Oh, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Grogs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Grog's heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. And it'll be the fine end. What the fuck? He strings around. Uh, okay. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll be the fine end. Oops. And it'll meet a fine end. Okay, let's just get <laughs> sorry guys, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. <laughs> Get go around it, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. <laughs> Captain, bleed his ankle. You should have taken no 
woods. Oh, I see. Just wait until he's eating the guy. I know what to do now. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. What? It's a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. The ankle cap. We discussed this. There you go. Quite a ride. Oh. Need a category for speed. Yeah, oh, this is so hard. Why can't I just kill orcs? So stupid. Sounds easy enough. Didn't work.
sting of my blade. I don't know why I killed him. I say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride a growl. There's nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> Alright, Captain. That's it. Special instinct, <laughs> gumption, <laughs> respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? All right. The darkness of all that doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The seven rings of power did not turn the dwarf kings to wraiths, as the nine rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Interesting. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna upload some more videos later. And uh, have a great day, guys.